All right, everyone, time to jump back into more Scarlet Nexus. Last time we left off, I believe we ended up fighting Kisane again, and pretty much the OSF is um, pretty much done for. So today we're going to go into a deeper storyline. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, Captain Settle, dead. Yeah, he's dead. He big dead. So let's get into it. Maybe I should talk to Sugumi. Oh, we have a bonding episode with Sugumi. Oh, Irito. S sorry. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? That white flower. I told you I would look into it, but I still don't know the name. Don't worry about it. I'm not in a rush or anything. But thank you for continuing to search for it. I will definitely find it. I will show you that blooming flower. So wait. Okay, I'll wait. But don't push yourself. Just do it when you have time. Uh, uh, wait. Hmm? What? Um... Huh. It looks like she wants to say something. I feel bad for putting pressure on her, so I'll wait a little. Um, how is your stomach feeling recently? Uh, my stomach? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess I haven't had much of an appetite lately. You should take some medicine. Thanks, I will. How did you know my stomach wasn't feeling well? My power. Oh, that's right. You're clairvoyant. So you have the ability to see inside my body. I do my best not to look into people's bodies, but it's hard to control. Sometimes I catch a glimpse. That's a useful power, but it sounds a little gross. That must be hard, Sugumi. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have looked without permission. Oh, don't worry about it. You seeing my organs is less embarrassing than if you saw me naked. Also, you told me because you were concerned. So, thanks. But... I still shouldn't have done it. Huh. How come you're always so hard on yourself? It happened a long time ago, when I was little. I wasn't as good at using my power then. I saw a lot that I shouldn't have. Inside bodies, inside rooms, people's secrets, things I didn't want to see. I didn't know it was bad, and... I saw something my friend was hiding. <laughs> I told everyone about it, and my friend and all the adults were afraid of me. I was alienated. Everyone hated me. I didn't want people to hate me anymore, so I became afraid to talk to anyone. So I... I'm always careful not to see or talk about people's secrets, but... That sounds pretty terrible. Yeah, I did a bad thing. That's not what I mean. You were just a kid. There was nothing you could do. Those adults should have known better. I'm sorry that happened to you when you were little. Um, uh, um, but it wasn't all bad. Really? From what I just heard, it sounds terrible. I didn't have any human friends, but my grandpa taught me about plants. My grandpa liked bonsai, and he knew a lot about plants. He taught me that plants are friends who don't talk. Friends who don't talk? Yes. Well, not with words, anyway. But with the shape of their branches, or the state of their leaves, they can tell us a lot. And when we're sad, they're always silently by our side. When I heard that, I started to like plants, too. I see. Your grandpa sounds really nice. 
<laughs> Thanks for the talk, Sugumi. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. Friends who don't talk, huh? Well, Sugumi doesn't talk much either, but she cares a whole lot. I guess liking plants is something we have in common. That was pretty cool. Um, Yurito? Yeah? What is it? Thanks for everything. Huh? <laughs> sure, you too. All right, we have two more bonding episodes. About time. Told you not to make me wait. <laughs> You'd complain no matter how fast I got here. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I'm looking for something. Did Captain Seto leave a package with you? Captain Seto? No, he didn't. <sighs> he had said he wanted to give me something. He couldn't keep that promise. But if he left it for me somewhere, I'd like to have it. Oh, so it's like a keepsake then. That's right. He didn't give it to you. So do you have any idea where he would put something like that? Hmm. Maybe the hideout. I don't remember anything like that, though. Maybe you saw it, but you just forgot. I guess, maybe. I don't even know what it is. It must be some kind of small package or box, I think. Just go check the hideout again. Hang on. You want me to look for it? I don't have time for that. I don't have time either. You can use your psychokinesis to search faster, can't you? You're the perfect man for the job. He's acting all high and mighty. He should be more humble if he's asking a favor. But if there really is a gift for Shiden, Captain Seto would be happy if I gave it to him. Fine, I'll look, but don't pout if I can't find it. What? I don't pout. I'm not a kid. Just get going. You're back. Did you find something? Yeah. I found a case with your name written on it in a corner of the hideout. I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Let me see. This is a battle mask. Captain Seto left this for me. So it was a gift from him. Is that a card in there with it? Yeah, looks like it. Dear Shiden, I'm sorry I couldn't put you in my platoon. This doesn't make up for it, but here's a gift. This mask contains special electrodes that will make it easier to control the direction of your electrokinesis. It's the same type as mine. Yours is specially made. I hope you like it. Shiden, you are the hardest worker I've ever seen in the OSF. I know you'll continue to grow stronger. So trust in your own strength. I know you'll be even better than me. I don't plan on losing, though. We'll be good rivals. I can't believe he thought so highly of me. Damn it! There was so much I wanted to learn from him. You were good friends with Captain Seto. He was the only one in the OSF who saw something in me. He was a very special person. I only fought with him for a short time. But I know that he was an amazing man. 
He was calm, dependable, and kind to everyone. I want to be like him someday. You want to be like Captain Seto? You say it like anyone can do it. If someone like you could be like him, I would have been just like him a long time ago. What's wrong with you? I understand you think highly of him, but I work hard too. You don't get it, rich boy. Just working hard won't get you very far in this world. I can't believe you think you can get to his level. You have no idea what you're talking about. Fine, I won't say it anymore. You got your gift, so I'm out of here. Hey, wait! <sighs> what? I haven't thanked you for finding this mask yet. Well done. Was that his idea of a thank you? I did it for Captain Seto. Tell me if you need me again. <laughs> if I feel like it. He's pompous, rude, and really mean. But he's not all bad. I guess. He's a dummy. If I'm as open-minded as Captain Seto, will I see him differently? Uh, I guess she didn't had a troublesome upbringing. I don't know. I don't have psycho um electrokinesis on my uh on my thing. All right, one more. Here we go, guys. Yuito, thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah. Uh, you look well, too. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. <laughs> I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um... What did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine. But now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. He can be too serious and awkward. Maybe he should pick up a hobby or something to take his mind off of work. You really do care about your friends. It makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's all right. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you, too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh, no. I've been pretty busy, but I feel pretty good now. Really? Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put it? No, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoka so kind to me? It's not like I was in her platoon or talked with her very much. Alright, that concludes that. So let's see what these messages have to do. Because if you remember, replying to these messages in an orderly fashion actually get you, uh, get you brownie points. Alright now let's um let's go level up our our guy with these brain points which is only two. So now you can see the whole tree. We have expand, enhance, brain drive, brain field, and support. So right now I'm more on the side of expand. So 
so expanding my horizon really helps me out so I can actually get better attacks and everything all right cool anybody else want to talk nobody okay then oh he, he has a bonding episode I was about to miss it I know I know one more one more Are you going somewhere, Gemma? I'm going to Sumeragi Tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi Tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Baki collaboration should still be going on. Whoa! Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet. You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is! Such a round and adorable face. Are those popular? Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi Toon. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask who's grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. I'm sure a lot of people do, but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? My actual age is already past 50. I think it's normal for OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. Really? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. Fall in love? I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting all old. Do I act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. Inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. No, I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean more like trying out the latest trends. Latest trends? No, I'm too... Actually... This magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested, so do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested, but I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great! I'll look into it then. Thanks, Gemma. No, oh, I should be the one thanking you. There is no way Gemma is over 50. That man is built like an ox. I hope when I get to be 50, I'm that built. I'm not as tall as he is, because that man looks like a tower, but I just want to stay built. That's why I mostly exercise three straight weeks, and on the last week of the month, I take off. Anything else? No? Nope? Okay. Let's get into it. I apologize for all these bonding episodes, but they are important. I guess Let's I start phase four. Yuito, wake up. 
What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad. We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. Uh. Kasane? <laughs> What's going on? That is awful. <laughs> you can see the suspect's features so clearly. <laughs> she looks so stupid. Who's this hey, sketch artist? You all watching the news? Oh my god. Kasane's family and the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. Oh my god, no, the creators must have had okay. their little kid like sketch. I'm feeling a little they had a contest too. for the sketch, and that one won. That looks so stupid. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful. But you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with brain fields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's... A little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others. And ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. And that's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. Alright, so now we know exactly where we gotta go and... Oh, we're in phase five. What the heck? Okay, chapter five, we'll call it. I hope I can keep this. What it's part of the game, so I should be good. Yuito? What happened? Why did you stop? What? Um, weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito, I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru, is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader and we're going out on patrol. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher-ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah, you'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay, I'll do that. I'll tell command about the patrol. 
As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, he'll be looked at right away. Okay, so now we're a major general, a leader? What the heck is supposed to be going on? Huh. That's odd. Hopefully this all no connects. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. Private Sumaragi, the brave fighter who protected Suo from others in the Suo incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. Definitely time it may traveling. Not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait, that's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Now, let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumaraki's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumeraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeraki. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey, at least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? You really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because, well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is, but people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Sinet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? 
A bus. I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The underground road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo. I understand there's a lot of dialogue, but at the same time, branch. it's I all important and it will connect possibly. So that's why I'm paying close attention to it and not skipping it. Plus, I don't like skipping um first round gameplays anyway. That's only on platinum runs. When Lokusho was attacked, my mother was killed. Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah. He was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed to No, time travel is definitely involved with this one. Nagi, all right. we all so seen died at Captain Settle's hands. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi. I heard this game is quite long, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. And that includes uh, both both Kisane and Yukito storyline. So in total, somebody told me that the game is at least approximately 23, 24 hours plus long, depending if you do everything, including side mission and actually an actual uh, exploration. So this is the so, old OSF hospital. Yeah. When I start my platinum I run, I'm only going to get to one or so two trophies, then I'm going to show it. and record the platinum. There is nothing left of Lokusho. Aren't others only after human brains? Would they destroy the buildings? Good point. If this building is still being used, maybe they cleaned it up on purpose. Huh. It sounds like you have some information we aren't aware of. Right. Uh, sorry. I do in fact believe that it's still currently being used. That's why I think it's likely that Nagi was brought here. Why do you think such an old facility is still being used? Well, once you get to be in the OSF leadership, you start to learn all sorts of information. I heard that the old hospital was being used for some type of operation several times. Is he hiding something? Tsukumi, the bus with Nagi went beneath this facility, right? Yes, but be careful. There are a lot of areas I can't see through inside. This place is dangerous. I can't read this place's data either. I'm not about the danger. Okay, Let's get it going. Story. Be careful. Okay, everyone. Stay on your toes. Nagi, there's so much I want to ask you. <laughs> showing up than others. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever seen one? No, I haven't. But if they do exist, they'd be here. Oh, if I see a ghost, I'll let you know.
Nice, so I can teleport a phase through um, certain areas, which is cool. Do we look for a different route then? That or break our way through here? I don't think we need to resort to that. We should be able to get by using my power. We did it! Alright! Let's go! Let's keep this up! Do you need help? That was close.
the enemy dropped something rare. This doesn't make sense. Why would there be others inside? The biggest reason others are here is for food. They want our brains. It doesn't look like there are many humans for them to feast on. Have you heard anything about this place from your uncle? No, not really. And I only really see him at New Year's, so... <sighs> there he is! Nagi! <sighs> Nagi! Nagi, wait! You're safe! Yuito... We were worried about you. Your name was on the missing persons list. Plus, I wanted to ask you about what happened. I'm... sorry. Nagi, what made you do that to us? How should I know? Huh? It feels like my brain just suddenly froze. I thought he was dead. And my head is all messed up. It won't stop spinning. How could that be? Leave. You can't stay here. What? What's gotten into... If you stay here, you'll be rehabilitated just like me. So that's what's going on. The rumors were true. Rehabilitation? Nagi? What's that? An alarm? others they must have been watching us i'll take care of this get out of here no i'll fight too i said no there's no telling when i might snap and try to kill you guys again just like with captain seto i can't let that happen i'm begging you get out of here then at least come with us i can't i just told you i could snap and turn on you any second Find my own way out. You guys, go on ahead. They're gonna rehabilitate you if they catch you. Or worse, they'll skip that and turn you into an other. What are you talking about? <sighs> but that's... Yuito, I'm sorry. Why? You were panicking. It was best to do what Nagi said and leave the hospital immediately. But don't you care that they might be turning people into others? We can talk later. We need to regroup. What this is the, the only heck? place I could secure as a safe teleporting zone. We have no choice but to go on foot from here. They must already realize that we know too much. It would be best for us to run. I know this isn't what you want, Yuito. Normally, we would be following yeah, your orders since sense you're to the me, leader. So but this that's place okay. is far this is more an upload, dangerous by the way, than you imagined. Stream. Please allow me to do what I can to prioritize our escape. Okay. Everyone, let's keep an eye out for others while we move. <laughs> it's too dangerous to go back. It may be cruel. But we should prioritize our escape. Go 
Hold your tongue. The oil is making me sluggish. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Now, I had many options to actually use against it, but I used that since it was most clever. Plus, I wanted to see the animation. Others are everywhere. 
We'll never make it to the exit. Can you make it out of the hospital by yourself, Luca? No. Teleporting is too dangerous in areas where there are this many others. Calm down. If Wataru doesn't have the data either, I have to rely on my own memories for the route to the exit. My memories... Can I even trust my own memories? Huh? Watch out! Above you! Boss battle. I wasn't paying attention either. Sorry. And thanks. Sure thing. More importantly, others are coming this way. Let's take them on. Come on. The liquid on this other's back seems to be oil. The smell is unique. Getting attacked with oil is really gross. Can't you do something about it? The oil is making me sluggish. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, the brain field I'll use as a last resort. I'm not really trying to use brain, brain um, field as a main thing. That's like a trunk. What? Let me borrow this. Yeah. I was about to say, now that should do it. to take it down. Is everyone okay? Others are gathering. Damn it. Why are there so many others? Watcher, Sugumi, are there any safe spots nearby? As I've said before, there's absolutely no data on this old building. Sorry. There are others everywhere. What? There you are. Major General Fubuki. An ice user? Everyone, come oh, with me. Okay. We'll lose those others by following the underground highway through the ruins of Lokusho City. Um, where are we? Is this a safe zone? Safe zone? What is that? A blind spot in New Himuka surveillance system. We call it the safe zone. We'll be able to talk here freely. We could talk outside of the city, but we don't want to be seen by any patrolling OSF members. I never knew about this. If you want to talk here, that must mean it's something you don't want the government to know. I suppose it does. Had I known sooner that you were going to OSF Hospital, I might have been able to scheme better. You must have known what kind of place the OSF Hospital was. Yes. Seems like you didn't hear anything about it. They conduct power research at that hospital, funded by the New Himuka government. They draw out stronger powers by tuning the human cerebrum. I had no idea they were doing such things at my uncle's hospital. Oh, right. That hospital belongs to the Ichijo family. Listen, what I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear. Huh? As a result of the cerebral research conducted there, a number of byproducts were created. Personality rehabilitation. Yes. They tune the brains of people who are problematic for the government, pacifying them by brainwashing. The government found out that Nagi witnessed Naomi being metamorphosed, so that's why he ended up that way. What? But Gemma Kasane and I saw the same thing. You were all protected under the pretense that I would be monitoring you, but Nagi was captured by the government before I could help him. I'm sorry. If only I'd been able to get a hold on the information sooner. Um, what do you mean Naomi was metamorphosed? I thought she was killed in action. Uh, I see. Naomi wasn't killed in action. She turned into another. Are you really saying that she turned into another? Naki said something similar, but is that even possible? That's a byproduct of New Himuka's research as well. A special material is able to turn organisms into others. Any organism with a brain can be turned into an other. Wait. Then does that mean it was the government that turned Naomi into an other? Yes. I'd love to sit here and tell you everything, but staying in the city is dangerous. Most likely, the government has already given the order to hand you over to them. I want you all to go out on patrol. 
I'll do what I can to take care of everything while you're out. Hold on. How is it that you haven't been subjected to rehabilitation despite knowing all of this? It seems like Luca knew too. Right. That's why Luca wanted to prioritize escaping rather than talk to Nagi. It's simple. I'm one of the government's dogs. Luca should have heard some of this from Karin. If you're curious, ask him. Yes. We should go out on patrol. I'll tell you what my brother told me along the way. Yuito, can you please direct us where to go? All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba. All right, time for me to find a safe nexus. And wait, what? Okay, time for me to find a safe nexus and that call it a gameplay for now. Uh, until I fu Okay, fireworks. This I'm happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, looks like we have a couple more battles before I can get to that save we'll nexus. Sure so we're gonna round, wrap this stuff up. All right, now we're at a save nexus. So, like I said, um, next time we'll be going further deep into the Scarlet Nexus. I'm truly enjoying this game. Like and subscribe to the content. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Twi um, Instagram, where I will message directly. I love you all, and happy for, um, Independence Day again. And I'm out for now.